relationships I walked away from as well yeah. and I think it was just so much of me not fully getting everything that I needed out of the relationship mm -hmm. and I know mm -hmm. another thing that I did was my schedule like I'm a workaholic yeah. so I know that at some point in our marriage I'm gonna have to scale back and I'm not used to doing that yeah so like you know you got a super busy schedule and then on top of that you, know, you have to help your mom out so I mean, I'm willing to be there like whether that's getting food or bringing food to the hospital or walking the dogs, walking these 20 dogs, you know, while you're gone. Like, you know, whatever way I can be supportive, because that's a lot, you know, so I don't want you to, like, have all that going on. And then come Or you can home. go with me. Yeah, I can, I'm down to do that, too. You like my mom, I mean, so. And she loves me, so oh. that'll make her feel better, too. You know I mean? So I don't mind going to the hospital, you know, lifting her spirits up. For, like, the five-hour chemo process uh, right sometimes i will get into my shutdown mode just because seeing my mom go through that is right. hard so i'm just i'm gonna have to be very conscious to make sure that i'm not shutting you out because i don't want you to see me more vulnerable because i don't right. really show people that you know that side of me i mean but just the fact that i know that ahead of time you know if i kind of see you, your energy levels coming down because of that you know that's what i'm here for you know to balance it out like help you feel better lighten that load the fact that he said you know i'll help out any way i can i'm not used to having that help so it's definitely needed i'm just hopeful that he stays true to that but the fact that he's all on board i love that all right <laughs> you got it. 